Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about the viscous drag and strokes law. The uh, definition of viscous drag comes from viscosity. Viscosity is a frictional effect between the layer, different layers of the flowing fluid. For example, there are many layers of the flowing or flow is flowing. So the uh, force or frictional effect between these layers is termed as viscosity. Viscosity has different coefficients. Viscosity comes from the frictional force, retarding force and so known as also friction or uh, some materials like water, honey and coal tar has different viscosity. Uh, honey has high viscosity because it is very thick and we, if we move or try to uh, try to flow or throw some objects, pass some objects from the honey or some uh, tar, uh, coal tar, the, it will be very difficult to pass some body because it is very viscous and the measure of viscosity can be measured from the the intensity of the viscosity can be measured from these force or uh, applied force if we want to pass some object through that or material or uh, like honey or coal tar for example the viscosity of air is very very small uh, small or low and viscosity of water is also low as compared to honey and coal tar in other words we can say that an object is moving through this force or an object is moving through this uh, material or moving through this material in this direction it also experiences some force that that force try to resist them or try to make some resistance or drag force is known as viscosity and uh, the strokes law also depend upon the coefficient of viscosity and it deals with the coefficient of viscosity so the drag force is dependent on coefficient of viscosity as well as velocity of the object we can understand that force or drag force is equal to 6 pi eta rv this eta is a coefficient of viscosity and it is a Greek letter we can say that it is eta e t and a this is a Greek letter and we can say that this is the coefficient of viscosity and this force is known as drag force so we can also measure the units and dimension and its um, uh, dependability uh, of coefficient of viscosity as compared to force radius and velocity of the particle so we can find out uh, the viscosity is equal to uh, force multi divided by rv into 6 pi so this 6 pi is a constant value we can only summarize that viscosity is for dependent on force uh, coefficient of viscosity is directly proportional to force and coefficient of viscosity is inversely proportional to radius and velocity coefficient of viscosity is inversely proportional to velocity as well it means that as the velocity of the object increases the coefficient of viscosity decreases but as the uh, velocity of the body increases the uh, velocity the force or drag force also increases on that body up till now we have finished about the dependability of the coefficient of viscosity we have discussed about viscous and viscosity but we will discuss about their units and dimension of viscosity because in most of the books they do not mention about the units and dimension of coefficient of viscosity and we are uh, trying to understand in this lecture so uh, the formula of coefficient of viscosity is equal to force divided by r and v the units or as a unit of force is equal to newton and the units of radius is meter and the units of velocity is meter per second and if we uh, open these uh, units of newton it will be kilogram meter per second square as well as the meter square and per second it means that this meter can be cancelled out by meter one value only one meter is remaining so if we open or simplify this the final term will be kilogram per meter this meter will be replaced by uh, upper value and this second s minus 2 and this is s minus 1 and if, if we go upward then it will be plus so the final value will be kilogram meter per meter 
and per second. This is a units for coefficient of viscosity. These are known as all SI units and most of the books and in the exam you, you, it can be asked that what is the unit of coefficient of viscosity most of the students do not know because in the books it is not mentioned and in, in the intertest it can be easily asked that what is the units and dimension of coefficient of viscosity most of the unit uh, most of the students put the unit of viscosity but viscosity has different unit as compared to coefficient of viscosity these are two different terms we can also calculate the dimension of coefficient of viscosity it is uh, the dimension of kilogram comes from mass dimension of meter comes from l which is l inverse and dimension of second comes from time which is t inverse this is the uh, dimension of coefficient of viscosity we have discussed the units and dimension as well as drag force retarding force viscosity and stokes law up till now we have finished about the uh, we have touched the fluid flow and fluid dynamics and we will see you in the next video if you like my video you can subscribe my channel for more videos see you bye bye